Hey everyone, and welcome to the Grow Hemp series. Today, we'll be showing you an indoor grow of a cherry blossom medicinal hemp femni seed in a soilless grow medium. This grow is happening in conjunction with the last grow log. And in fact, this is the same seedling that grew alongside the previous grow log seedling early on in the grow. I did this as I was waiting to get the right grow medium for this plant. And when it came in, I took the seedling out to transplant it into the new pot. For this grow, I'm starting with a mixture of peat moss and perlite in a fabric pot with no actual soil in the mix. So this is technically considered a hydroponic grow, although I'll be manually watering the plant. And because of the grow mediums used, I need to use a hydroponic fertilizer with each watering to ensure that the plant is able to get all of the micronutrients that soil would typically provide. And here I'm going with a one part powder hydroponic grow nutrient for the vegetative stage, and then switching to a one part powder bloom nutrient for the flowering stage. This grow is housed in a 3x3x6 grow tent, although I'm only using about a fourth of the tent space for this plant. For the grow light, I'm using a 2 chip on board LED light that's more than enough to support this plant and any other plants that I place in this tent. As for the exhaust fan, I'm utilizing an inline fan with speed controls to be able to keep the noise down and attached to the fan, I've included a carbon filter to contain the grow smells to just the grow tent, and then ducking to move the exhausted air outside. The only other thing in the tent is a temperature and humidity reader, and also a clip-on fan attached to a pole of the tent that's able to provide a breeze to the plant to help support stronger stems and also to prevent mold and mildew from building up. The grow lights were also originally set to an 18 and 6 hour light cycle to maintain the plants in the vegetative stage. And now that the plant is a little larger, I'm switching a light to a 12-12 hour cycle to initiate the flowering stage. At this point, the plant will do a final stretch and growth before the plant completely stops growing in height. The plant will also stop producing new leaves and instead start producing flowers. When switching to the flowering stage, I also switched from a grow fertilizer to a bloom fertilizer, which is higher in phosphorus to help support flower growth. 
The flowers are now fully visible, and over the next month, we'll just wait for the flowers to grow denser and denser, producing the trichomes that contain the CBD. The plant is growing significantly faster in the soilless grow medium, but I have to water the plant about twice as often as its soil neighbor because the grow medium mix isn't able to retain the water as well as soil, so there's a lot more work involved. And as you can see from the time lapse, there was a couple of times where I forgot to water a plant for like half a day or a day. And even in that short period of time, the plant would wilt extremely fast. Now because both plants are sharing the same grow light, the issue I'm facing here is that this plant is growing really close to the light. But since the other plant is still a good distance away from the light, I didn't want to raise it too much, which caused the top stem closest to the light to start to burn before I had to raise the light a little higher. I lost the last two weeks of footage, so a quick recap of what happened to this plant is that the buds have gotten so heavy that I needed to use both plant yo-yos as well as plant ties to keep all the stems upright. As you can see, now that I took the plant yo-yo off the stems, everything is toppling over due to the weight of the buds, and to harvest the plant. I first remove all of the large fan leaves before hanging it all up to dry. And that's it. Like the content? then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch, available at Amazon in print and digital, with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.